One of the more difficult subjects to shoot in product photography are bottles and glasses and things that have a reflective surface on them. But if you get your lighting dialed in, it's actually quite simple to do. And you can get some really amazing images that your clients are gonna love. So in this video, today I'll be shooting this bottle of wine. It is a Chateau Saint Michel. Sounds very French. <laughs> and it is from, uh, oh, here in Washington. Nice. Cool, so uh, when we're shooting a, a bottle of wine, they're actually kind of easy to, to make look nice. I kind of already have an idea of what that's gonna look like, but the real test, the real challenge is to see if I can put what's in my head uh, onto the screen here. So let's go set up our composition. One of the things that I like to do with wine in particular, and I learned this from Rob Grimm, who's another uh, beverage photographer, and that is the idea that uh, drinking is a social event. You want it to be inviting and welcoming for, um, for the viewer in the photo. So one of the ways we can do that is instead of having the classic single glass of wine um, next to the bottle of wine is to have two glasses of wine. One uh, that's sort of out of focus and um, that's whoever you're sharing the drink with and the one in front is obviously intended for the viewer. When you get people thinking that way, um, they become more likely to want to desire the actual, uh, to actually be in the scene and drink the wine. So that's the theory that's going on here. So let's take a shot and see what our first image looks like. It's a little bit dark and dramatic which is what I'm sort of going for, but I need to turn up my lights here. You'll also notice these really hard reflections on the bottle, and that's gonna be the first problem that we're going to want to uh, solve today. And particularly this happens because when you're dealing with the reflective object, um, the surface isn't only being lit, it's directly reflecting the light source. So in order to properly light a reflective item, such as a wine bottle and a glass, um, to get a nice smooth gradient of light, which is the desired kind of picture that we're going for, uh, we'll need to, instead of light the bottle directly, we need to light the thing that's going to reflect on the surface of the bottle. So we can simply just add a layer of diffusion between the light source and the bottle. And for my diffuser, I really like these Matthews frames as well as the, um, the Savage plastic. It makes a very good diffusion material. I'm going for more of an atmospheric, romantic kind of look. So now when I take a shot, it's gonna look like this. Still a little bit dark, but now we actually have some nice soft gradients on the bottle that we really like. In order to get the light on the label, I'm going to use an additional light it's just a speed light with a snoot connected and all that's going to be it's going to be angled in such a way that to minimize the reflection on the bottle so we might have to actually go lower under the table and kind of shoot up at the table in order to get the the label lit correctly so as we can see we have our label lit uh, I might need to adjust the position of the snoot in order to get more of the label and focus that I want. But you can also see that there, the light source that's lighting up the snoot is only seen in the uh, wine glass, which, you know, uh, is gonna be easy to remove and post. Now finally what I wanna do is I wanna put another light um, to sort of give a spot effect around the rim of the glass. And I don't know how this is actually going to look. Uh, I saw Carl Taylor do it in one of his wine videos and I just kind of want to see what it would look like in this video. So um, basically I just have a seven inch reflector. It's uh, up above and behind the background and I'm gonna see if I can't light it. I have a feeling that there might actually be some, uh, some shadows cast on it, so I might need to figure out a different location to put it. I can tell right away that I'm gonna to wanna to put a grid on my reflector so that I can get more of, a, um, more of a narrow spot. It might be an okay location, but I definitely need to move it over a bit. We'll try a 10 degree grid just to see what happens. 
And while it did light up some things, I, I don't think that's going to be the best location for that grid. So I'm going to find another spot, preferably overhead and likely uh, closer to uh, the top of the bottle. Instead of this strobe, I'm actually going to be using another speed light because it's going to be lighter. Uh, the stand that I have isn't strong enough to hold that other strobe. This stand is making me a little bit nervous with it bending over like that. So let's take another shot and see what we got. And we now have some reflections actually on the neck of the bottle itself, uh, but we can easily remove those in post. And I do like the spotlight effect. It gives it a little bit of dimension in front of the, uh, on the surface. And that is very much what I'm going for here. The next thing we wanna do is um, obviously fill up the glasses full of wine. And this is probably my favorite part because I get to drink the wine afterwards, uh, me and Sheila anyways. Um, unfortunately, uh, in order to, because wine is so black and dark, we might have to actually uh, cut it with some distilled water. And unfortunately that kind of ruins the wine. Um, you know, but I'll drink it anyway. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a nice one. Really looking forward to drinking it. And if you are getting value out of this video, please hit the thumbs up button. And if you like this kind of video, check out the uh, playlist up above there for more behind the scenes videos. And I've also made a video, if you're wondering what kind of value this kind of photography is able to bring in, I do have a video on pricing that you might wanna check out as well. So I'm just gonna give this a little bit of a pour. Just as a final finishing touch that I like to do is we're gonna try to do a water drop. And at this angle, I don't know if it's gonna work out, but we're gonna take maybe one or two more pictures um, at different angles uh, so we can get that water drop in there. I love doing that for the wine. It makes it look um, quite elegant and, and nice. And I really like that, the way that looks. So I'm gonna get an ambient shot. And this is the final result. As you can see, it's a pretty simple shot and we're only limited by our creativity. So let me know what you think. I'll see you in the comments.